Hi, it's Laura. I'm the CEO of VMV Hypoallergenics. We're here to save the world's skin with the safest, most proven effective care on the planet. And today I'm doing another skin installment of Ask a Skin Intellectual. What we do is we collect your many, many questions from many, many places, Instagram stories, um, our customer service emails on vmvhypoallergenics.com or vmvhypoallergenics.ph or on our YouTube comments, um, Facebook, everywhere. And then we try to get through as many of them as we can on this Ask Us Intellectual. Before I get started, remember to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have new content going up pretty much every week. And we also have a lot of content on vmvinskin.com if you need more help. Aiko Banana is asking, does topical and oral collagen really work? Most topically applied products on the skin would probably be the best way to affect something on the skin. Certainly what you intake, the food that you eat, how much sleep you're getting, your stress management, all of that affects your skin too, right? Because a lot of those things are linked to inflammation. Inflammation can certainly affect the skin, et cetera, et cetera. These particular, this particular product, um, collagen, okay. There is, there was a review. It's a fairly small review by Dr. Choi, who I, I believe is based in Taiwan. I'll see if I can put the link to the review in the comments. Um, it does have randomized double blind controlled trials on collagen as a supplement to see how effective it is on skin quality and anti-aging benefits. And there's some data that implies it might potentially work, but not enough is where we're at. Topically, collagen, the molecule of collagen is too big to penetrate the skin. So some of the stuff that's sort of implied or promised by applying it on the skin and sort of this regenerative stuff that it can do might not happen because the molecules are just too big to penetrate, but it's a nice moisturizer. So that's not a bad thing. Miracle 3002 is asking for products to lessen eczema. First thing we would say is make sure it's diagnosed properly by a dermatologist because eczema can mean different things to different people. Atopic dermatitis, it's, it bubbles, right? It, and then dries, crusts over, becomes very itchy and stuff. We have a lot of great articles, super helpful on vmvinskin.com. If you type in eczema in the search bar, you know, there's what is eczema, what causes eczema, what to do for an eczema flare up, etc. That's super helpful. It is an inflammatory condition. So a lot of anti-inflammatory best practices would apply here. Eating anti-inflammatory foods, um, getting enough sleep, seven to eight hours a night, stress management will all be beneficial. One thing to remember with eczematous skin conditions is that it's very frequently barrier defect. So you'll have cracks in the skin that can be very welcoming to opportunistic microbes. So you do need a certain level of antimicrobial care as well. And you don't want to rely on a steroid. You really only want to use a steroid a few times a year, right? As prescribed by your doctor and no longer than that. Great options, allergen-free lifestyle, super, super gentle, everything from head to toe. So Super Wash or Clark Wash, Essence Conditioner, Essence Hand Body Smoother or Mommy Coddling All Over Lotion, followed by Virgin Coconut Oil, which is our Know It Oil or our Oils Well, because you want to be layering moisturizer. And these moisturizers have Virgin Coconut Oil and Monolaurin, which are wonderful, super safe, broad spectrum antimicrobials. Plus, by layering, you then create this sort of barrier, right? Protection, repair, etc. So you would do, for example, uh, mommy coddling all over lotion, then virgin coconut oil, then boo boo balm, for example, right? And we have a nice tip on doing an intensive overnight hydration therapy with boo boo balm that you then wrap uh, with cling wrap or a cloth that you can find. We have a nice video on eczema care. And um, I actually just did a video on boo boo balm that should be up soon. Kate Poyet's asking, should I apply moisturizer before or after id monolaurin gel? Moisturizer would tend to come first, then your id monolaurin gel, and then for example, no oil and your sunscreen. But id monolaurin gel can be reapplied throughout the day 
on your face, on your hands as a disinfectant, etc. I just did a video about this. The correct way, like applying skincare in the correct order in a regimen. And there's also a, an in-skin blog post about that that I think you'll find helpful. Give alms to the poor. Yes, is asking, are your lipsticks safe for those who have lip dermatitis? And again, yes, uh, they're free of most um, top allergens, definitely free of all fragrance, all masking fragrance, preservatives, irritating waxes. Um, the, and we do have dye-free options if you happen to be allergic to azo dyes. Our VH rating system is so specific that it actually will show you if it's a lower VH rating, then you can see on the back what exactly is the allergen in there. And if it's azo dye or dye-free, and you can just compare it to your, say, patch test results. Very, very helpful. But yeah, our lipsticks are extremely well tolerated and people love them and they're great. Another thing that might help is our allergen-free, halogen-free um, essence skin-saving toothpaste because the dermatitis might be from that as well, not necessarily from the lipstick. It's flavor-free, flavors are related to fragrance. It's preservative-free, it's halogen-free, um, there's a nice video also that I did called on perioral dermatitis that can help. And then also boo-boo balm. Applying boo-boo balm under the lipstick can help too repair anything it needs repairing and provide an additional barrier as well to uh, triggers. Early Australia is asking, do you have a product suited for a seven-year-old girl? Many, 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 many. <laughs> In fact, almost everything. Um, you know, if you look at our grandma mini line, which is made for um, kids, it's anything there for sure. Um, for shampoo, for conditioner, for a daily lotion, for daily oil, if there are concerns about atopic dermatitis. Um, yeah, we make a lot of sunscreens for sure. So yes, lots of stuff. If you would like more specific um, suggestions on, on what to use, drop us a DM and we can get into it there. Mav Serbolias is asking, is your red better line safe to use on babies with atopic dermatitis or eczema, four months old to be exact? Thank you, and thank you for the question. And the answer is yes. Calm the heck down. Balm from Red Better is a wonderful option. It's a great alternative to steroids. It's steroid-free, but very but anti-inflammatory, quick acting, allergen-free, um, very soothing, very quick acting it's really quite phenomenal for general flares that aren't too bad boo boo bomb actually does the trick what i think is really really crucial here is to make sure there's a daily regimen for baby that is preventive because you know ideally for babies and for kids what we really want to do is prevent the flare from happening at all so we have a wonderful blog post I think it's called My Baby Has Eczema, actually. So it would be s.myvmv.com backslash My Baby Has Eczema. And several dermatologists uh, chat with me about a daily regimen for the care of a baby with eczema. And this includes allergen-free, very gentle baby wash, um, layered moisturization and barrier repair, and really safe, wonderful antimicrobial care, such as with monolaurin, which is coconut derived and actually found in, in breast milk. So very safe and virgin coconut oil, of course. So I would prioritize prevention and this daily wonderful soothing regimen and then keep boo-boo balm as well handy for sort of flares that are beginning and red better calm the heck down balm is great for sort of more severe flares. Lauren C. Mendoza. Hi, I haven't gone to a derma clinic, but through research online, I found the term hyperhidrosis. I have excessive sweating in the underarms. Can essence antiperspirant help me or be used and will it darken my underarm? So same, same. I also have hyperhidrosis on, actually, maybe you can see I'm sweating now, <laughs> on my underarms and other areas of the body. Not too bad on, on the hands and um, soles of the feet. But I did do a video on hyperhidrosis and bromhidrosis that I think you should check out. I think it'd be helpful. I think it's also online uh, on vmvinskin.com. 
Short answer, yes, Essence Skin Saving Antiperspirant is fantastic for hyperhidrosis. Um, and no, it will not cause darkening. Darkening in the axilla, the underarm area, is often a post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So if you're using soaps or laundry detergent or even clothing that has allergens that's causing an irritation there, um, that could be causing the darkening. Essence does not have allergens or irritants, so it would not cause the darkening. We do have another antiperspirant called Illuminance Axolite, which would be a more active treatment for hyperpigmentation, and it's also a very high concentration um, antiperspirant, so it can help also with hyperhidrosis. And talk to your doctor, because sometimes Botox injections in the affected areas can also really, really help. We have many, many more questions, but I'm you know, trying to keep some of these videos short so they're easier to digest. Keep the questions coming. Certainly, if you have any questions, you can write them here in the comments on YouTube. And I personally check them myself, as well as our team in customer service. We're a small company. We love hearing from you. We're very skin intimate, so we definitely want to be here for you. So yeah, write your comments and share if you thought this was helpful. Um, and I will see you next time. Have a skintastic day. Thank you.